Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I have a MAC haul for you guys. I actually bought a bunch of MAC products, so I'm excited to share them with you. Um, I've never really done a MAC haul on my channel, so this is like really exciting because I love MAC hauls. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. I'm like boiling right now, so probably sweating. But I was thinking of actually doing a waterproof makeup video. I know La La Lee, um, I think her name's Laura, I think. Um, she made a video on uh, testing waterproof makeup so I thought I could do a full face and see um, if it works because I was talking to one of my subscribers on Snapchat and they were talking, we were talking about how we kind of like sweat on our upper lip like I always sweat on my upper lip like it's just terrible so if you guys want to see a video on that uh, let me know in the comments below and yeah we'll just jump straight into this video so I'm first going to talk about the face products that I bought. I got a foundation and it's the MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation. It has SPF 15 in there and I thought I would do a review on this because you guys know I love doing reviews. Um, I got the shade NT44. A lot of you guys ask what MAC shade I am. I think I'm NT44 because when I did my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation review, it was actually my mum that got it for me in France because we don't have Sephora here and she was just like, what do you want it? And then I said, yeah get me like NT40 but it was just so light it, it doesn't really suit me um, so um, I got NT44 so I think this is exactly my shade but you guys will see in the video I kind of swatched it on my hands it looks kind of okay so hopefully this is what the foundation looks like I think the packaging is really nice and I like that it has a, a pump but you guys will see a full review on it when I try it on for the first time and I really can't wait to try this out because it says moisture in it and anything that says moisture or hydrating in it, I'm sold so I can't wait to try it. By the way, all products will be written in the info box. I then also got a concealer, I got the Pro Longwear Concealer, finally. I've seen so many people talk about it and they say that it's a good concealer and I got NC42 because I like to go lighter with my concealer and it's actually the concealer that I'm wearing today. It's actually really really full coverage and it sits really nicely on, on my under eye and I've been wearing this makeup for hours right now because I did it earlier on and I've set it with powder and it hasn't creased. I don't know if it's my Ben Nye Banana Powder that's really good or if the concealer is but it's not creasing on me so I've seen some people say it creases or it dries them out but I actually so far really like it. I then got a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in Global Glow. This is one of those highlighter ones and I wasn't too sure which highlighter to get because some are really dark and some are really light but this one's just perfect for all skin tones I feel like. Comes in a little packaging like this and it's so pretty, oh my god. It's actually really pretty. So that's what it kind of looks like, it's so pretty, oh my god. Can you see like that, that colour is just perfect for any shade I feel like. This is what it looks like when I swatch it. It gives you that lovely, subtle, like inner glow. It's not like glittery or anything, which I just love. I'm actually wearing it today and it just looks, it just looks so nice and it just looks very natural. It doesn't give me that white cast, which I really don't like. Um, and yeah, I'm obsessed with it. But I already have the skin finish in Dark Deep, which is a really nice bronzer. It actually gives a really, it makes your skin look soft. I don't know, there's something about this powder that just makes your skin look really, really soft. So I think I might, if I were, because I really want to build a kit and start doing freelance, and I probably will have a bunch of these in my kit because they're just really, really good. I then got three lip products. The first lip product that I got is a lip liner. Some of these are first, I actually don't really own a lot of MAC makeup, but um, this is the lip liner in Whirl. Um, let me get the pencil out. It's kind of like that pinky nude. I'll show you swatch. It's super creamy, but it's just that pink, dark pinky mauve like... I don't know how to explain it but it's a wearable shade and I really really like it to line my lips and I just actually really like how creamy it is. I understand why people, a lot of people like MAC lip liners because they're much much more creamier. Um, but yeah that's what well looks like. Oh my god, see right now my upper lip's sweating. Like every time it's hot I'm always like this, like it's so annoying. But it actually does not happen when I wear my double wear foundation. I don't know if it's waterproof but it actually doesn't make me sweat here. But I just like to tap it like this and then it just goes away. Um, so the next product is actually a lipstick and I got the Well lipstick. I thought if I was going to get a liner I might as well get a lipstick. 
I've seen it in some people and it looks really really nice so um, I'll show you what it looks like it probably looks exactly the same as a lipstick but it's just so creamy mm. I like the fact that it's really dark but I just really like this color I think it would suit really nicely on brown skin tones so that's why I picked up that one I also did get another lipstick and this one's taupe it's a more brownier shade and it's the one I'm wearing today and it's so nice for darker skin tones I mean this is my perfect nude like I just love it I've actually found the perfect brown nude that I like because I love Ni uh, Cosmetics 1995 but it has that hint of red or pink in it but this is just brown like it's just a true light brown that's really nice for brown skin tone and that it doesn't like wash me out and it doesn't look too dark um, even if like for people who are darker than me you could like match it up with a darker lip liner and it would work really really nice so I'm obsessed with this one I'm actually really glad that I bought this one and I might get the lip liner as well so I'll swatch it on my hand Taupe, and that's well you can see it's a bit lighter but more brownie as well so now on to eye products I got a mascara and it's the extend play lash mascara and it's in the shade endlessly black it comes in this cool blue packaging I've actually seen a lot of youtubers use this and it works so well on their lower lashes I don't know why but it's just the shape of the brush this is what the brush looks like and it's just this really really thin small brush and I don't know somehow it works really well on people's lower lashes now I've used this on myself and I'm actually not too fond of it to be honest um, it just makes my lashes look very thin and it just sticks them together it doesn't actually clump it but it combs nicely through them but it, ma it just makes them look thinner and it doesn't give volume like it doesn't give me volume at all so I'm actually not too fond of it I, I really like it for my lower lashes but not for my top ones I also then got a brow product and it's the eyebrow pencil yeah and I got the shade stud it's just a really dark brown oh, gosh so it actually gives like really like small tiny hair kind of things I really like that I haven't tried it yet but it's super pigmented and I feel like that's the right brown for me I believe this is the darkest shade and I think it would work even for deeper deeper skin tones because it's quite dark but I can still make it work for me um, and it's very pigmented I actually really like it and I love how like thin it applies a product so yeah I definitely like this even though I haven't tried it yet but I, I can already tell by swatching it that I, I'm gonna like it I'm not too sure about the longevity of it but yeah I thought I'll give it a go I've never really seen anyone use a MAC eyebrow pencil so I thought I'll give it a go and then the last and final product is um, an eyeshadow palette I got the eyeshadow times 9 palette in burgundy times 9 now let me see which one I opened whoa whoa I almost dropped it there this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like now I thought I actually bought these online and I thought that this would be much bigger but it's super tiny show you guys I really really love the shades in it I mean they're really pigmented and I, I don't really have these kind of dusty mauvey colors especially the dark ones so I'm really happy that I got this one it's what I've used on my eyes today it's very pigmented I can work with it easily and I just create this quick mauvey dusty kind of thing I probably will do another makeup tutorial on it for you guys so um, that will be probably coming up on my channel soon but I did get a second one to give away for you guys because I did reach 10,000 subscribers recently and I'm so grateful for it so I thought I'll get an eyeshadow palette for one of you guys so here's the other one this is my one I am gonna do this giveaway as usual so all you have to do is comment below if you would like to enter um, if you don't want to enter just state it in the comment if you just want to comment but don't enter anyways um, and also I do do kind of extra entries so if you want extra entries you can follow me on Twitter which is Anushka Beauty I'll leave it somewhere here and Instagram which is Anushka I think it's super easy it takes quite a while for me to count all your names up because a lot of you enter but 
I'm just going to do it like this for now because it's a small giveaway and um, probably in the future for bigger giveaways I'll probably have to do something better for me to pick out a winner easily. Also don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, I do announce the winner on there but I also add the winner's name in the info box because a lot of you ask me when I'm going to be announcing the winner. I will be ending the giveaway for like a month from now so you have plenty of time to enter, it will be around maybe end of August, I think the same date but in August. I will write the date and time of when the giveaway will be ending in the info box as well and the date when I'll be announcing the winner. So yeah, that's the end of this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more MAC calls, um, if you kind of like it, because I do want to get some more lipsticks, because these lipsticks are really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys will also like the giveaway, good luck with it. Don't worry if you don't win, I will have plenty more giveaways on my channel. Um, and thank you so much for already getting me to 13,000 subscribers, I believe I just hit it recently, and it's just so amazing, so thank you so much, and... Yeah, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!